that is the owl ultimate revel. You'd be hard pressed to find folks that don't want to go on an adventure in this. And maybe you just picked up your first Sprinter van. So what I want to do is talk about the five things you need to do to your Sprinter that you may not even know about right now. Things. So there, back there is a fuel tank, water tank, fuel tank. You see how long it is. So the cool thing about the fuel tank, it doesn't really change anything. It's just longer. This is a Revel. I think I want to say this has like a 42 gallon extended fuel tank. If you have a regular Sprinter, I believe you can get up to a 45 gallon fuel tank. It's an absolute no brainer if you're going to go on adventure. So what you got to do is add more spring rate in the rear. We do that with either an Adelie for a full replacement pack. And then you're adding some adjustable off-road shocks and they, you see the factory shock is still there. And there's the additional piggyback reservoir. It's gonna keep your shock fluid cooler when you're going on washboard roads. It's gonna keep the van stable on the road, on ramps, driveways, everything. Trust me, do some research. Suspension on these things is pretty much life changing. We recommend the Van Compass 4.3 or 6.3 if you want a lift. By adding the Rentec, you are gonna optimize your engine to be more powerful, to run more boost, and it's gonna be able to get up those mountain passes at high altitude when your van is fully built out. Trust me. If you drive these things a lot, you realize they can be a little bit anemic. And folks that have had the Rentec tune installed, it takes like two minutes, it plugs into your OBD2, makes a world of difference. Storage, this sounds silly. I get a lot of folks that are like, why do you need storage? You're in a giant van. I, I go out in a Jeep and you're in a van and you're complaining. Well, the reason is that van's not empty. It's full of a bathroom, a shower, a fridge, a cooktop, a bed. There's all kinds of stuff in there. It gets built out. And the other thing you notice when you do this a lot is keeping the inside clean is tough. So you want to keep the dirty stuff like my shoes right now and all the mud around here. I want to keep that stuff on the outside. So the cool thing with Owl is we have these carriers that mount to the hinges. They allow you to put massive amounts of storage on the back. This is our brand new monster box. This is our monster box. And I'm really happy with this. It's a dual fold box so this gives you a place to kind of set stuff as you take it out so what do we have in here notice a lot of dirty stuff those are essentially um leveling blocks those are really cool they're called i think they're called anderson leveling blocks if you haven't used them they're really really cool extension cords uh tire changing uh jack tool roll in here we've got soft shackles a tree saver recovery gear um, air, uh, in, uh, inflation and deflation items. So basically all of the stuff that you're going to need on the road that would take up, look at the size of this box. Think about how much room this would take up on the inside of your van. If you already have a built out van, you got to carry food and water and clothes and all that stuff. So that's why storage is such an important thing. You've also got the tire out from underneath. If you want to learn why it's important to pull your tire out from underneath, I have a whole video on that. So you definitely wanna get your tire off from underneath if you're off-roading. Last thing, we're also here at the back. Oh, beautiful, dirty owl hitch step. Go way under. This is super important. See that? Now, mine are painted blue. Most are not blue. I don't know if my finger's in the right spot, but that blue plate down there is a differential skid. Skid plates in general, really good idea to get when you're going off-road because I am actually pretty far from anyone right now. I don't have cell signal. And so you wanna make sure that you don't smash that diff on a rock and then all your diff fluid spills out and you're kind of uh, up a creek without a paddle. Those things are super cheap insurance. The diffs on Mercedes Benz have a very odd design in that the diff cover hangs down ever so slightly from the main body of the differential. And so what happens is, if you scrape it over a rock, it'll peel it back like a potato chip and all your diff fluid will spill out. Sometimes you can hammer it back, but if your diff fluid has spilled out, you're again, like I said, kind of up a creek. The other thing is, or has nothing to do with off-roading, and that is, if you take your van in for a tire rotation, a lot of folks are trained, not necessarily correctly, but they jack up the vehicle on the differential. On a Mercedes, that can bend your differential uh, housing cover as well and cause all kinds of problems. And so just for cheap insurance, I think it's a few hundred bucks, definitely a diff skid. We also have other skid plates on the van that are gonna protect the other vital parts of the van. So those are just five things that are not as flashy 
They're not things that you're necessarily gonna see right away, like a cool um, roof rack with lights or a winch and side steps. Those things all look cool, but we wanna make sure we get you out to the adventure and we get you back. So those are the five things that I think every adventure van should look into. Hopefully you found this video informative. If you wanna see more of our videos, we have a great channel and you can like and subscribe. Thanks so much.